So I'm making a different type of video today um, about a Brita. And I know it sounds odd, but for people that don't want to waste your money, this one wasn't that bad. I got a discount store for this Brita. I brought it, I bought this one specifically because it was in the packaging and many of the other ones weren't. It also had the filter with it. And um, with this Brita, we filled it up, everything was cool. We set the filter on it. And then our fridge is full of water. Now, you can see what I've done there. Yeah, it doesn't look the best, but you know what? I went to the discount store. I paid $6 for this Brita, brand new with the filter. Filter's nine. Okay. Well, I think probably 10 now. And my old Brita was just getting small wherever she put it. So we got the new one. We fell in love with it and it was leaking. So what I did was I grabbed my 3M glue stick and I went on the outside. I did a, my first coat, which was okay. I did it. I, th I think it was a little damp when I did it. That was my first coat. And it still did drip a little bit. So I don't know where it was coming out. Maybe I didn't get the whole crack. So this time I went a little bit above and beyond and I... Uh, I did where I could see where the crack was because that's all it takes in a Brita is a little crack. Yours doesn't have to look as ugly as this. This is just my rough draft. And I also went on the inside on the crack and did uh, There's no harmful chemicals in this. It's goes through Brita, hey. And I've rinsed it out and, you know. So basically, I did just the outside. And that's all you have to do is the outside. And it doesn't have to look that ugly. These sticks are very good. You can do just about anything. I've seen people seal boats with these sticks. You can buy them at Browns. I think go Chinani on a stick. I buy them when I see them at sales for like 25 cents a stick, which is an awesome deal. But uh, they have got me through a lot of stuff. They fixed a lot of stuff. They're actually a really handy, handy uh, thing to carry. I always have one in my truck and one in my house and one in my toolkit. Just because it honestly, you'd be surprised what this stuff can do. And so out here, this has been sitting for a boat. An hour and I don't see a drop of water. I want to do a test right there, some pressure on it, right? So, yeah, if you want to know how to fix your Brita without having to go buy a new one for, and I'm sure that would have been $39 or $99 or whatever, you can spend literally $2.99 and fix it yourself. So, subscribe and like if you'd like to see more. We do ATVs, snowmobiles, everything is custom.